to all of your televiewers of Teleturuan. I am Teacher Revelyn Pichua, Science 5 teacher of Talipapa Elementary School. Today, we will talk about changes that happen in materials under the application of heat, main source of heat, and the importance of heat. From the previous lesson, changes that happen in materials under the presence of oxygen. You have learned from the previous lesson that simply exposing some objects to oxygen produces various effects. Aside from oxygen, another thing that produces changes in matter is heat. Do you know that heat from the earth known as the geothermal source of heat can be used to convert water to steam, which further can rotate turbines to produce electricity? The sun is the main source of the heat. The sun is the part of our solar system. Thus, it is natural source of heat energy. Sunlight is important for the existence of all living organisms on the planet. This form of heat energy is called solar energy. Combustion is chemical which creates thermal energy. Electrical energy can be used to create heat in a good resistive heating elements. In all electrical appliances used in the house, the electrical energy is converted into heat. This heat is then dissipated to the surroundings. For example, in a toaster, one can observe the resistance making the elements of the toaster glow red. Nuclear reactions deal with the energy of atoms and molecules. The missing mass in a nuclear reaction comes out in the form of energy. The heat is a form of energy that transfers from the higher temperature object to the lower temperature object and is the transfer through the conduction, the convection, and the radiation. We measure heat using these common objects. These are the examples of materials used to measure heat or temperature. Why is heat important? The heat is very important in our daily life, in warming the house, cooking, heating the water, and drying the washed clothes. The heat has many usages in the industry as making and processing the food and manufacture of the glass, the paper, the textile, and many more. Now, I will show you how changes happen through application of heat. Take a look at this picture. Heat can bring about physical change in matter. Drying clothes under the sun involves evaporation of water from the clothes. Some solid materials melt when enough heat is applied to them. A common example is a melting ice when it is placed out of the refrigerator. The ice absorbs heat from the surroundings, which will then melt after a few minutes. Look, do you see this already? On the other hand, if the water is subjected to heat, it evaporates. Just like when you hangs your wet laundry under the sun. After several minutes to hours, the clothes become dry. This means that the water in your clothes evaporated. Do you know that heat does not only produce physical change in a material? Sometimes, Heating a material causes it to undergo chemical changes. Look, I have here a picture of match and a paper. What will happen if I scratch this piece of match? What will happen if I put a fire on the paper? When an object is in heating, it undergo chemical change. Now, can you bring back the egg into its liquid from before it was cooked? Did chemical change happen to the egg that your mother cooked? Yes, fried egg have undergone chemical change through heat. Remember, materials change 
through the presence of heat. And the heat is very important in our daily life. In warming the house, cooking, heating the water, and drying the washed clothes. Thank you for active participation. I hope that you have learned something important from me. Again, this is Teacher Reverend Tichua from Tanipapa Elementary School. I'll be seeing you on our next lesson. Bye!